Hello and welcome to Bryant Tech Tips. As part of our commitment to delivering quality products that perform to the levels that both you and your customers expect, I will review three important application tips for the Evolution V air conditioners and heat pumps. First, we will talk about grounding the unit. A good earth ground is required to ensure proper communication and operation of the system. Be sure the grounding wire is securely connected to the terminal block inside the unit and the grounding rod as well. Make sure the grounding rod complies with local code. Two, shielded wire helps prevent interference from nearby high voltage wiring, ethernet wiring, or radio and TV signals that could affect the system's communication signal. The shielded wire should be connected to the C terminal or the ground connection of the indoor unit. It should not be connected to the wall control. Connecting the shielding on both ends of the wire defeats the purpose of the shielded wire. Three, let's talk about charging the system. When charging the system, use the cooling subcooling method. Always be sure to have favorable charging conditions. That means the outdoor temperature is between 65 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and the inside temperature is between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. You can find the subcooling values in the service section of the wall control inside the home. Finally, when you are charging the unit, remember to only add a half a pound per minute, wait 25 minutes, then recheck subcooling values. Following these simple best practices will help ensure a professional installation, promote optimal unit performance and reliability, and it can potentially reduce your number of callbacks. Thanks for watching Bryant Tech Tips. Thank <laughs> you.